<laughs> all right, so this is a special moment for me because I have something that I want to share with you all. You all everyone here at Fox 5 and with our viewers out there. So after much thought and a lot of discussion with my squad, you know who you are, <laughs> I've decided that it's time. It's time for me to say goodbye to Fox 5 and to the world of local TV news. Let me assure you, this was 100% my decision and it was per my request to not make it a big deal. If you are a longtime viewer of the Fox 5 morning show, then you know the name Lark McCarthy. She started this program, and she is a true legend in DC News. I consider her to be my mentor, not just professionally, but in life. And I had the honor of working with her for years. And when she left Channel 5 after her 17 years here, she shared something with me that was actually shared with her by legendary Fox 5 News anchor Cynthia Steele when she left. Well, I want to share it with you because it best describes my heart right now. It's part of a column, it was written by Ellen Goodman, and she writes, the trick to the graceful exit. It begins with the vision to recognize when a job, a life stage, a relationship is over, and to let go. It means leaving what's over without denying its validity or its past importance in our lives. It involves a sense of future, a belief that every exit line is an entry, that we are moving on rather than out. The trick of retiring well may be the trick of living well. It's hard to recognize that life isn't a holding action, but a process. It's hard to learn that we don't leave the best parts of ourselves behind back in the dugout or the office or the studio. We own what we learned back there. The experiences and the growth are grafted onto our lives. And when we exit, we can take ourselves along quite gracefully. My overwhelming feeling right now is an avalanche of gratitude. For 31 years, 25 here, I have had a front row seat to history. I have gone places and met people that only this profession affords. There are not enough words in the dictionary to express how thankful I am for my coworkers and our viewers. You have lived life with me, celebrating my highest highs, shepherding me through my lowest lows. The irony being, while I have had the privilege of telling other people's stories, in doing so, I have actually helped write my own. So I leave you with this, the open to perhaps my favorite series of segments from my tenure here. Roll it. Holly, where's Holly? Well, come Monday morning, Holly's gonna be sleeping in. She's not wearing Spanx, a solid color, or a full face of makeup. I'm going to be busy being a full-time mom to my son, Hayden, not exhausted every minute of the day for my husband, Thomas. I'm going to be traveling, playing tennis, having drinks with my book club on a weeknight, and just living life, not on a schedule. I am so proud to be a part of the Fox 5 legacy. I dearly, truly honestly love you all and i believe in my heart of hearts that legacy lives on now in you holly we love you and to show our appreciation so holly here's the deal uh, i was going to give you one final challenge after all these years <laughs> i'm bringing you two things that you love i was going to make you choose one but since you get thomas <laughs> everything today i would choose the cake <laughs> legacy that means so much I yes. tell you uh, it really does um, it, it's amazing uh, this is it, this has not been an easy decision for me it has been I didn't cry <laughs> are you crying I'm like I really didn't want to cry and Thomas is like have you just met yourself are you kidding because uh, you know because it's an emotional time yeah. right but truly these are happy tears um, you guys every single one of you every person in front of behind the camera every single person I've met along the way are imprinted on my heart and it just this truly is the right time. And I said to both Marissa and Makia earlier, I'm like, look, it's your, I passed the baton. And you can't make your mark when everyone's constantly comparing you to my mark. And so Fox 5 has lost, 
has had greater people than me move on, mm. and they still always rise to the top. Mm. They're still always the station to watch in the D.C. market because that's what Fox 5 is. Well, I think one of the greatest testaments you can find, and, and, and we run into these people all the time over the last couple of decades who always say, I woke up every morning just waiting to see where Holly was <laughs> and what she was going to do. And that in itself, I mean, that is appointment TV, and that's what, it, what has made you so special over all these no. years. Well, I will so say, this was really funny. Actually, Thomas and I went to see Nickel Creek last night at Strathmore. We had to leave early because, you know, I had to get up early for work, uh. so I won't have to do that anymore. <laughs> but we were, we were uh, getting a glass of wine, and it was this young kid, and he goes, oh, my God. He goes, are you Holly? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, I don't even watch the news, and I don't know why I know you. But I do. <laughs> and I said, you're right. Young people don't watch the news. <laughs> I only say that, not to, to toot my own horn, but just to really um, say to you all that are still here and that are going on, that that's what Fox 5 is, yeah. right? It's in the community, and even when people don't even realize that it's there, mm. and yet they still are drawn to it. And Holly, you're the consummate professional, one of Couldn't the best in mm. the business. You bring okay. such passion, such love, such care to your work, yeah. and the best one-liners I've ever oh, heard. Yes. I miss you okay, so much. We're not, we're not ending on a sad note. I asked yeah. for dance music for the end. Oh. I want to end on Friday. What song? I don't know where they're playing. Well, it was the theme music. Thank you for watching five years. Thank you. 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 Th